Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel. So I am currently working on my Paper Pumpkin Alternatives for August 2023. This is video number five. And if you are new to my channel and wondering what I do with Paper Pumpkin, I do alternatives. I do not do as they come in the kit. It's kind of a creative challenge for me, but I absolutely love uh, my kit every month. It is such a great, uh, great product, great everything about it. Um, I'm very honest. Some kits I like more than others, and some I'm like, oh, you could have done this, that, but that's my personal Sorry, I had to check to see if my grandson was coming out. That's my personal thing. So this is the flyer slash instruction sheet. And it gives you very beautiful, detailed instructions on how to do it. On the back here, it says kit components. It goes over everything you get in the kit. It gives you the coordinating colors. It even gives you a QR code that you can scan to get more ideas to work with your paper pumpkin. This will probably be the last time I go through all of this. So let me show you what the stamps were. This one, you got two sheets of stamps. So you got Forget Me Not, the lily pad, which the double oval punch is said to punch out. You rise above the rest. Your friendship is unforgettable. You are capable of amazing things. And the two different size lotus flowers. And let's go over what the cards, stuff that you would have used if you did the cards. But look how gorgeous that envelope is, guys. How can you use that for an envelope? I don't know because it's too pretty not to cut up. Um, so this is a Dutch fold Dutch door fold card. Gorgeous. You would have got these forget-me-nots. One of the sentiment strips. I do have two in here. And I'm looking for the little baggie. A little bit of twine went with this and it has, so that was the one card set. This is the other and I have my extra banner pieces in there. So you would have got an orchid oasis card base that had the orchis flower um, definition of what is behind it. I like that they did this fold. I like that they were not just the standard, you know, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a, four and a quarter. This is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. It can go either way. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you got this lotus piece of cardstock with the lotus flowers and the lily pond. And let's open this up. Then you got the big lotus with the lily pads and this vellum piece. This is an extra one I got going in there or one that goes to another one. Beautiful envelopes. So what are we using for today? Well, I have that over here to my right. I'm going to set that down there. So I don't even know if we're going to do any stamping I'll tell, to tell you the truth. So... What do I have? Well, I have the envelope. I'm not sure if we're using this envelope or if I'm going to cut that up for another one. I am using, in video number four, you saw me use the Lotus piece, this piece. Okay, this is what I used in video number four. Video number five now, I am using the card base, or at least... The back of the card base is what I'm concentrating on. We're going to use all of this. I'm going to use a piece of that vellum, the lotus. I have a white envelope because I think I'm saving this. And I have a white card base. I have a piece of Orchid Oasis that is four by five in a quarter. A piece of Pretty Peacock that is five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm thinking this I'm saving. So I'm gonna set that over there for the moment. But this should be a really easy card. But sometimes I say that and sometimes it's not always the truth. But because 
something happens. But we'll, we're going to see what happens here. So we are going to go here. Glue this down. X marks the spot. Dot, 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 dot. That right on top of our card base. Now, I could have, I guess, used that, but I already had a piece of Orchid Oasis out, so that's going to go there, but I'm not going to glue it down just yet. We need to cut our card base. Because we want this back piece is what I'm focusing on. Oh, we probably will stamp. I just had an idea. So this, I'm going to set aside. This piece now, I need to trim all of I'm just going to trim it all down to three and three quarters by five. And I want to do that a little bit at a time. So I'm going to take a quarter rot inch off of this side. I'm going to turn it and take a quarter of an inch now because now it's at four now it's at three and three quarters where i want it there we can use those for the inside of the card if we'd like um next i want to cut right below this line i told you i'm cutting it apart and i am so i want to cut right below that line so I put this just a hair in front of the two and I'm going to turn it this way and I am going to just eyeball it. So this is three, one and five eighths. I'm going to take a look. Perfect. I think I could, I'm not going to cut it down any farther though. I'm thinking I am. Now what I want to cut off is this lotus flower. So let's see where we think. Okay, one, no, three quarters of an inch. All right, now let's see if this idea in my head comes out the way I want it. Here's all my pieces. Our card base. This, I was thinking, is going to come right there. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one is coming here. This is going probably, I need to probably trim that up. Yes. I want this like so. And then I wonder... We turn it like this oh my goodness yes okay we got it it's going to work out just perfectly so I'm gonna this piece originally went like this we're turning it this way and gluing it up at the top I need to trim that little bit from the fold off of this piece so stick it back on the guillotine just put it up against there just that little where it was creased. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to work out. I sit here and I look at things and my mind goes, oh, I wonder if this will. I wonder if this will. And it will. All right. So. I've got to. I think it needs a little wiggle room. That is not straight at all, guys. <laughs> not straight. Let's try at least to get it to be somewhat straight. All right. So there she goes. Now, this one here needs to come down to that three and three quarters like the rest. So let's turn it this way because we want that straight edge up at our guillotine. It's at four. So I'm going to take an eighth of an inch off of this side. 
turn it this way and I'm going to take an eighth off of this side. Now this is going to, ooh, 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 ooh. don't forget this piece here is going to run across the top. This piece is going to go down here at the bottom. We just need it all to line up right. That's going to be so cool. So, 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 so perfect. Okay, so. On this one, I am going to put glue here, 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 and then right here. Because I want to be able to slide this in place. Move that up. I want roughly the same distance as I did the top piece. I might need to, I put too much there. Nope, that's gonna hold it in place. Perfect. This piece, oh, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I know I can put a glue dot here and a glue dot there. If I can find those little, a little sheet of wherever they went to. Pokey tool to the rescue. So I said one, let's take off the backing. I'm going to stick one right here because we don't want any of this to show. All right. This is going up on dimensional. One, two, three, probably five. Is... Actually... I think four is going to do it. I think four will, <coughs> excuse me, do it just fine. I still want this to come into play. Maybe we'll do that right at the top. I think we will. That is perfect. Yes. And this one then is going, even that alone is pretty, but we want this right there. Come on, scoot up a little bit. Perfect. Perfection. Look at how pretty that is. Yes, I'm so happy with this. And it was just one of those things. I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm like, I wonder if we could use the back. Because I struggled with the forget-me-nots. I really wanted to use the forget-me-not um, meaning. But the front is so pretty. I'm still like, can how am I going to be able to do that? I mean, it's easy to do, but it's like, ugh, my mind. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I really am. So we are going to get great Wink Estella coverage on this. And this is something all of you can do. I mean, if you don't have Pretty Peacock, use the front the orchid oasis on a piece of white cardstock if you don't have the pretty peacock layer just do the same thing but to this piece it would work out just gorgeous or or you use quarter sheet cut this up 
because that's what I'm saving that for. Let's cut that up and do something. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we are going to glue these bits. I told you on the inside of the card. And do I want it this way or this way? I think I want it this way. So it's just a quarter of an inch. And I want to make sure we get plenty of the Orchid Oasis on the card. Scoot yourself up there. Pretty little detail. Pretty, 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 pretty. We could almost put this in a clear envelope because it's so pretty. Oh, better than I would. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to decorate this for a clear envelope. We are going to change our minds up. So we're going to also add this strip to the back here. stamp my address label there and we're going to do that small little um, lotus flower down here so let's see that is going to be really pretty on there I'm bringing out my stamp and pierce mat because polymer stamps don't have any cushioning and I want a really good inking though I think that is like too much nice and light I just want to put this here yes then I'm going to remove that because I don't want any ink on this going to put this here and then we're going to use we're going to use orchid oasis i think um i did pull that out but let's see i want the one that says you are a capable of amazing things for the inside of this I think we're going to go just like that into the, well, I should have, I wanted it to go a little bit into the orchid, but that's okay. The orchid. Mm. With the orchid oasis onto the lotus flower. I wonder what the meaning of an orchid is. I tend to kill them. I don't have a good running. I've tried. They die. I'm just not very good with them. Oh, most definitely so i've got ink on me now so give me a second uh, okay a little bit of hand sanitizer and that is the card but we're not done let's put some um do we want rhinestones or do we want what they gave us let's choose what they gave us for this card it looks like little drops of water so I'm gonna go one two and three so one large one there so so pretty that works much better you know what I want the big ones I don't want the little ones this is a really big we can go one there <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. And one here. So it is now finished. And a clear envelope, which, are you kidding me? I, don't have, I put them somewhere not where they should be, so now I gotta find them. But, anyways, that is my card. Oh, so pretty, so, so pretty. I hope you guys like this alternative. I absolutely love it. I think it came out spectacular. Really, really happy with it. 
Oh, so thank you all for watching. I hope that you like this enough to give me a thumbs up, like, share, or comment. Your comments are what keep me going, everybody. And um, you might feel like I'm soliciting comments for purpose, but it's just to let me know that that I'm doing things that, that you all can either recreate that you like, because if I'm not, then maybe I shouldn't be doing this anymore. So thank you guys for everything. It has just been my greatest privilege to share with you what I create. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.